So, I've been setting up for springtime, getting screens out, the screen door, taking out the glass, putting in the actual screen part, and I noticed I've got a hole in the bottom of my screen door. The screen has been torn. What do I do? We're going to be looking at a product called Screen Mend. I actually saw this maybe two years ago on Shark Tank, and I really wanted to try it then, but I never had a use. But now I do. I purchased this for about $7 on Amazon, and I will have a link in the description if it's something that interests you. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. And my channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below so you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. Now, let's see if Screen Mend can fix my problems with my screen door. All right, so let's take a closer look at this screen mend. You notice I picked the charcoal color. I felt that was one that closely matched my existing screen. This is a double pack, so I have two of the five by seven screen patches. It's just a simple perforated opening, so let's just tear it there. Um, if I look inside here, I have, yep, one and two mend screens, five by seven. If I look into this package, there's nothing else. Um, the directions are on the back. You're supposed to cut the screen mend about a half inch larger than your actual hole that you're patching, and then use a hair dryer on the highest setting to, in a sense, glue this to your screen. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and then try it out. When I was installing my screen, I noticed that there's a hole, almost like maybe a mouse ate it. Um, I do store this in a shed and I thought, well, that's strange. So I'm gonna try this stuff called Screen Mend and we are gonna see if I can patch this up and make it usable at least for the rest of this season. In the past, I've tried different ways to fix screens. I would actually get a piece of screen, cut it around and like stitch it in or sew it in. A lot of times I just end up pulling out the strapping all the way around and just replacing the screen because it's not that complicated. And well, you just get a whole lot more use out of it that way. This screen, I'm not sure how long this screen door I'm gonna have because it's an older screen door. It was here when we bought the house. Um, it has other issues, but I at least wanna try to make it through the season. And you can see that I picked this charcoal color that sort of matches. Um, my thought is this is gonna be at the bottom it should be okay. Now remember I said earlier the directions say a half inch around? Well, I'm good on three sides. I'm a little worried about the bottom here because I've only got about a little less than a quarter inch to bind to, so I'm not sure what's gonna happen. So now I'm actually gonna cut this to size and then try it out. Now that our screen is prepped and ready to go, let's see if this screen men stuff actually does what it says it will do. I'm kind of skeptical, but I'm anxious and excited to see. Our screen has been cut. I just took off this back paper. As you can see, it goes right over top of the hole pretty well. What I did here is I put a cutting board underneath just to give it something to rest on because I want it to go down here just as much as I do up there. So I have my hair dryer. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this now for a minute and you guys can watch with me and see what happens at the end. Let's do this. So that was just about a minute. As you noticed, I held 
the hair dryer about an inch off the screen and I was just trying to make sure it went down into this area and it seemed to do that pretty well. It is tacky so I, I, I probably shouldn't have touched it um, but I just wanted to make sure it was down. But here's what the men looks like. I'm going to let this sit for a little bit and then we'll get a closer look to see how it adhered. So what do you think of this stuff called screen mend? Too good to be true? Not bad? A quick fix? Let me know down in the comment section below. Have you used this? What happened with your screen after you used screen mend? Did it work out? Let me know down below. So here's a close up of the mend. Um, it's actually really good. It's tight all the way around. I don't have any loose spots. I was worried here where the screen sort of curved down into the frame here, but it actually adhered there pretty well. I definitely think this is going to be a good mend, at least for the season. So I just wanted to give you a close up of what this looked like and it covered the hole. I just want to give you a look what a mend looks like on the screen. It is noticeable. For me, the good news is, well, look, it's here at the bottom, and most of the time people don't look at the bottom, but you definitely can see it. It does look as though is it stuck really well all the way around. Um, there's where the hole was in the middle, but it's stuck all the way around, even at the bottom, so I'm pretty pleased. It's been a rainy day, and that worried me. I thought it would fall off, but it's held strong. That square is pretty noticeable. Would that be something that bothers you? Or would you not really care because, well, the bugs aren't coming through the hole? I would love to know your opinion on that. Let me know down below. What do you think about how it looks being patched? So I came back to get another look just to see how it's holding up. It's still there. I can't scrape off the corners. I'm pretty impressed. But you know what I noticed in the background? Something got delivered. That's a pretty big box for a future review. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. It's just a little Easter egg, how exciting. All right, let's check to see what this looks like on the outside too. It's not as noticeable from the outside, but you can sort of still see it. It's a pretty good seal, pretty good bond. Even out here where it's been raining and wet and damp, it's held up tight. Do you know what I really like? I really like when a product says it will do something and it does it. This mended my screen and it was a pretty good size hole, probably a quarter size hole. All I did, cut it a little bit bigger than the hole and I used that hot air dryer and just melted it on there. And it was really neat how it adhered itself or it bonded right to the screen. I even tried picking it away a little to see if I could pull it away, but it did a good job gluing to the surface of the screen, even on that part that curved around. And that's really, really neat. I think of a lot of uses for this. I can think of my camping friends. You're going out there, you set your tent up, you open up and there's your screen and it's ripped. 60 second fix. RV friends, campers, throw this in the drawer. Rips and tears and screens happen. Therefore, you can fix it and it could be just fixed permanently or until you get a chance to repair it, just depending on what you would like to do. Anyway, this was my review of Screen Mend. It's a product I found on Amazon. This was Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of Screen Mend, the as seen on, well, Shark Tank way to fix your screen with just a little bit of heat in under a minute. Pretty cool product. You know what? Not that long ago, I did a review of this stuff called Pack and Stack. Ooh, it's a vacuum seal system that comes with some bags and a little tiny vacuum. And this thing's been vacuum sealed tight over a month almost pushing to two months of sealed tight in here that's pretty impressive i've just been leaving it sit to see what will happen what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to link the review of pack and stack right up here and i would love it if you would go check out that review make sure that you're logged into youtube so you can actually see this little rectangle pop up and what's going to happen is by the magic of the internet i'm going to join you at this review so go ahead click it it's safe I promise. See you there.